The CARICOM Secretariat and the World Food Program invite you to join the region's 25 by 2025 food security and nutrition revolution. Join us in being a part of the regional I Am Agriculture Youth Campaign. Experience testimonials from successful youth agri-entrepreneurs from across the region. Some bees were found in my house and I was thrilled to see how they were removed. The beekeepers who came asked me if I wanted to get inside and see what it's like. I'm like, sure. So I donned on a suit and I jumped in and the rest was history thereafter. So some bees entered my house and from then I took beekeeping as a hobby and now I've made it into a business which I use as a you know, side income to supplement my main income as well also. After I made beekeeping a hobby, I realized more persons were beginning to call me for hive removals. And first of all, I got into this because of two persons, Brent Georges and Tadia Spencer. Those were the two beekeepers who taught me. And after going along with them for quite some time with hive removals, I'm like, hey, this could be something that I could start for myself as well. The best part of my business operation is the harvesting of honey and also turning the byproducts from honey into um, added value products. So it's not only honey that's derived from the bees or from the hive. There are so many products. You could have lip balms, lotion, edge controls, um, what you call it, sealers. You could even have tinctures like tincture of propolis that can be used for burns and cuts and bruises and so on like that. So there are so many other things that could come from the hive and my, my joy is to mess around with it and when I say mess around I mean like try to see how I can turn the byproducts like the wax, the propolis, um, the honey and all these other byproducts that are taken from the hive and make value added products from them as well also. Someone getting into this, capital, capital, capital. I would say capital. Finances are a huge part of this because beekeeping is a very expensive business because the equipment, the time, the products, all these things, they all add up. So if it's a, if it's a case that you really want to get into it, dive into it, but make smart financial decisions so as to get yourself into it. I am Jamal Phillip from Antigua and Barbuda and I am agriculture. My name is Katyan Burnett. I'm 17 years old. I'm Antiguan and I'm a poultry farmer. My grandmother was the one who came up with the idea to have a chicken farm. And so I decided that I would assist in any way I could. And, I real and then I realized, you know, this is something I really want to do. So every day I get fresh eggs. In the morning, I pick them up and then I wash them thoroughly, dry them and package them in the boxes. And my grandmother, she goes to the market on Fridays and Saturdays and she would sell the eggs there. Also I do have personal customers who would come for their eggs because it's a local business I find I can supp supply to the people more. Um, you know, due to the scarcity of eggs, I feel like my business is, my business have, have a sense of importance in, in, in the industry, in, in Antigua's agricultural industry. Some challenges I've been having when it comes to finding spreading for the floors, I normally use, use um, sawdust, however, sometimes it's hard to come, come by. And I would, I'm trying to be as resourceful as I can because some people normally just scar this, this sawdust. And so I'm trying to say, see if I can reuse it rather than going to purchase hay. Also, I give my chickens scraps of fruits and vegetables. It basically helps them to relieve stress. I use their manure as compost as well. I do hope that this encourages not only not only young folks but also you know anyone in anyone just encourages anyone to get up and do whatever they want whatever they want to do when it comes to agriculture whether it comes to agriculture or any work at all take your time don't rush but 
do as much as you can invest as much as, as much time and effort and energy into your work because it is time consuming you have to you have to really pay attention to what you are doing you have to get up every day early motivate yourself and pray pray a lot I am Katian Burnett from Antigua and I am agriculture.